Okay, so before we start painting, we want to make sure this final profile is the shape that we want. Um, one of the biggest concerns you have is once you paint it, it's really hard to get new forms out of it without um, really compressing it for a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet this perimeter and then just flare it so it's uniform. We get rid of that little wave and we have a nice curl that sort of matches the design we have on the tips of the pauldron, okay? So you can do that with the spray bottle, or you can do it with a sponge, or you can do it with a paper towel, whatever works. I'm gonna do one with a sponge, and I'm gonna do one with a paper towel, just so you know they're both effectively the same thing. Um, it just needs to be absorbent. And we're doing this just so that the edge of the leather can be formed but the general profile that we made is still gonna match um, the rock or my shoulder or whatever it was you used as your master mold. So I just sort of get the edge wet and then switch over to the other side, get the edge wet. And then by the time you're done wetting one side, usually the other side has sucked up enough water to where you can um, switch again. So I just go back and forth until they're both wet enough for me to change the shape the way I want it without having to struggle too much. So sponge on one side, paper towel on the other, pretty straightforward. So we're doing this just to the point where the leather starts to become compliant. So when we can form it with our hands, we're happy. And we're just gonna start putting creases back into that leather so that the behavior matches the aesthetic of sort of the rest of the perimeter. So we're just trying to get that ripple out by using our fingers and thumbs to really bend a curve into the design. So I'm, I'm usually rolling my thumb around the edge as I do that, so it, it looks kind of like this, this motion. Um, and that's, that's because the, the thumb gives you a really nice profile. It gives you a, a fairly smooth, uniform groove. It's a big, fat, meaty pad. Um, but you could do that with really any, any rounded form. You could take your plier handles and you could use that. You could take a dowel. I'm sure you can use like a lollipop. It just anything that's relatively smooth curve is going to give you what you want. Just know that if it starts to fight you in the process, it's time to add a little more water. And then you're gonna have to wait like a day or two for this to dry again. So just know there's a lot of prep work and then you wait for it to dry. Um, you can put it in your oven, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee that uh, it's gonna be what you want when it dries out because you know it's resting on a rack. I usually like to let it rest on something flat if it's not folded over a form. But ovens work as long as uh, your family members or your roommates or your spouse or whoever you're with right now uh, doesn't complain about the smell of baking leather. It's you know, not an appealing one. Um, another good fix is to just put it near a heater. If you have a space heater or an electric baseboard heater or a furnace, you can dry your leather out that way. So the entire time, we're just working on that curve, getting it to be uniform, nice and smooth, so you can't tell where we had those rubber bands. Um, again, that's why shimming can save you some time. But in the end, it just takes a little bit of wet forming to get it to the shape that you want. I don't use a whole sponge. You can, but it just gets water everywhere. I tend to trim, trim the sponge down. I find, like, you know, the sad sponge that's had one too many trips, you know, through the dishes. Just trim off a small section. Usually I'll run it through the dishwasher before I do that, so it's not, you know, smelling like foodstuffs. There we go. So we have our nice linear line, good profile. You can see on the edge profile everything fits, right? That's what we want. Now, we're just gonna leave it out to dry. Ta-da! and we'll come back and paint it when it's dry.